Hey, Sanji, baby, the goddamn camera fell. So right now you have someone that wants to talk to you or you have a business or something that you're ready to get out and let people know or introduce yourself or put out, you know, distribute marketing, um, put out your ideas or something to start a business. And I feel like you need to be more logical about it. I feel like you need to be more logical because you might not have any love and passion, meaning you need to probably have more understanding when it comes to your friend. But if this is not a person that you need to have more understanding with, you need to know that you're very fucking balanced and that's what you need to be more logical about. With that blue keeping calm responsible. Using your intuition with that sword, heart and intellect. Communication. What's deep within your meanings with that one. That's what you want to put out. That's what you're probably struggling with or that you know you might have doubts about it because it's new to you. Yeah. And I feel like whoever your person is with, you need to be more logical that they have no love and passion. Passion means understanding, thinking deep. They can't do it. They really don't take their life serious. Yes, with this eight, they're unbalanced. And I feel like with that eight and this one, one, that nine, they release a lot of bullshit, shit that's not important. And when they, whatever they consider love and passion to be, it's nothing. It's no think deep thoughts. This person can't probably help them with their trauma. This person probably can't really bring peace in their life. They're not a good example probably for the kids or something going on where even this masculine man could be in his feminine energy, this karmic man. And he talks too fucking much, but he don't do shit. You see these actions are in reverse. They talk it. They act like it, but they not really about their life. <laughs> and you are about their life. You're using your intuition, which means if you're a man, you're thinking more. You're being creative. When it comes to that blue responsibility and keeping calm with that sword, heart, and intellect, you know how to make it happen, Captain. Your person or whoever you're dealing with, they could be female, could be in her masculine energy as well, ready to get shit done if she was with you and she wasn't really moving. She just was talking, now she reflecting. What is closing out for you now? What is closing out for this person now that you was dealing with that wants to get in a masculine energy and get shit done? What new cycle are you ready to start? So this person is ready to start a new cycle. But to me, they ready to get like you if there's not a fire air sign. Because you and your air element, air, moving around. Ready to do it. Or thinking about doing it. Yes, honey, Scorpio Taurus. They see you over there. As a man or a woman in your masculine energy, starting shit up, six, and you reflecting that, if these are not your feelings, but you could be dealing with Scorpio energy, where Scorpio is transformation, Scorpio is the detective, Scorpio is the motherfucker that's just worried about themselves, and you reflecting that. What memories from your past are asking are trying to get your attention. You, you're on this person's mind. And you need to be more logical. To know that this person probably wants you in a healthy way. Yeah, you're not fishing for opportunity because you already got it if you've been keeping up with me. But let's read them. Yeah. What situation in your life is bringing about some type of opportunity? I feel like this person is not looking at you as an opportunity. Or you're not, this person like you in a healthy way. They're not trying to use you for some of y'all anymore. Yes, whoever they dealing with is hopeless. They not a fucking star, but they try to front like they are. The messages and the shit they spitting out, they probably trying to front like they have passion and love for you and they can't even fake it, boo. 
Let's see what else they doing over there. Or, you know, a person can only fake like they something for so long and then the shit wears off. So maybe your person thought that this person was talking a good game and they lame. Let's see what's going on with the job and money to confirm what we were just talking about when it comes to you trying to get out there and do things and be more physical. And it's nothing more beautiful if you told this person what you want to do and you're actually fucking doing it. Huh. Yes, you're doing your follow-ups. Well, I say you ready to get shit started. You're putting things in perspective, even if it's just in your mind. Everything is born twice, right? You got to think you didn't do it. I'm going to move a little fast. Yes. You've been shopping, probably getting equipment, or you probably been shopping to just to impress. Shopping, you will be. Maybe this person been getting a follow-up on you or a follow-up on their situation about what they're going through with this person. Yes, saving money. Maybe shopping is just you going to the grocery store. I love to read current energy. Maybe this could be you going to the grocery store, take care of your business. And that's how you saving money. Maybe you eat more healthy or you sacrificing, not overeating. Somebody doing a follow-up on someone's been overspending. Maybe you try not to overspend so you can shop more or get things done. Let's fill on the follow-up. Let's see who's doing the shopping. Maybe your person see that this person's actions are in reverse. Remember that eight unbalanced? They've been overspending, and your person see that. Like, how we going to get somewhere if you ain't even focused on the important shit? Yeah, benefits. What did I say? You're going to be shopping for things, whether it's food, clothes, dress to impress. Because, you know, you have to impress people to make them want to work with you. I call it big, bold, and beautiful. I'm from Houston, Texas, and that's what we like. We like big hair, big cars, big trucks, everything big. House real big, cars real big, everything real big. Houston people, we like big shit. Things you shop for are going to be a benefit, whether you shopping for clothes or everything, to get people to do what? Make the right decisions. <laughs> When you out there saving money, <laughs> so say if you even saving for a car, but you can ride the train or a bus or catch a Lyft or an Uber to get what you need done, you still going to be getting it done. You still going to be doing follow-ups. You still going to be spending. But I feel like you saving money is making the right decision. Somebody going shopping and trying to benefit, and this person is, like, doing follow-ups, and, like, hold up, this bitch is overspending on shit we don't need. <laughs> That's why this bitch not focused on what we do need to do. They have no love and passion, but to look cute, or to look handsome, or to try to dress to impress for the wrong things. It's not for people to work with them. Told you their budget. They looking at their budget. <laughs> yes, you're running a business. Are you good at running a business or helping someone? Benefits. What you going to be shopping for? So this person could be doing follow-ups and trying to explain why they're overspending and while they're on a budget, and then you can have you over there, I mean, then you can have your person then saving money, making the right decisions.
insurance, making sure thing go, things go right. Don't have to be insurance for a car or a company or your home or wherever you need insurance. Oh, it could just be insurance to make sure things go right. This person got somebody getting terminated for a job. Let this one resident, resonate. And they're going off their benefits, probably workers' comp or unemployment, but they still shopping. So they out there fucking off money. They not saving for a retirement plan or nothing. That's a resonate. That don't have to be in the relationship or the relationship your person is in. It could just be someone in particular. They supposed to be, they need to be saving their money. And they steady fucking it off. Could be somebody that needs to retire, honey. Huh? Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. I already know who that is, but let that resonate. Yeah, let's keep going. Let's do a little church. Give your relationship a chance. Came in reverse. I feel like your person or whoever this person that's probably even new for you don't want to give their last relationship a chance. They don't want to work on their partnership. That came in reverse. Let's flip it. Yeah, get to know each other is what you need to do. As you reveal your deeper inner selves to each other, your bonds deepen. Yeah, they don't want to be deceptive. They want to take that mask off. Yep, they don't want to give this person another chance. They want to forgive and learn. They probably know that this is just what average people do. And you're not average. You don't have to pay attention to no red flags. You can see right through these people. Like at work, the people think they know me. And I'm, the, I'm like... We cool, but we're not friends. Like, I don't even fuck with you outside this job. I don't know shit about you. So why are you steady talking to me like you just fucking know me? Ugh. So it's like people need to understand that you're not their fucking friend. We're just co-workers. I had a guy ask me, we got two of to my camp. Are we friends? We never was friends. And you never even... Uh, you already thought we was friends. That's why we never built a friendship. You, you gotta build that shit. You gotta bring trust. I don't fuck with you outside the job. I don't talk to you outside the job. And the shit we talk about is the gossip and the bullshit in our lives. We're not having fun together like friends do. I could never call you and talk about shit because you got all the problems. I got problems too, but I can't even talk about it with you because you're too busy focusing on, focusing on shit like not trying to <clears throat> get along with me. So you already showed me. So you got a lot of people that think y'all are friends, but we're just neighbors. We're not friends. I just see you at the corner store. I just wave to you. We're just working together. Yeah, honeymoon is here. It's safe for you to love. That's how this person feels. 
They probably tired of going through, they seeing right through these people or they took their mask off and they ready to go through a honeymoon phase with you. They don't want to give this person another chance and maybe this person even know that. That's why they, uh, your person, they probably know that your person, um, know that they just the average basic motherfucker and your person's learning to love and forgive and it's safe for them to love. And that's how they feel. <laughs> Let your friends help you. I feel like somebody want to get to know you and they letting their friends help them do it. There's no red flags with this person. So this could be a fire sign, air sign that want to give it to you. And then you could have a Taurus Scorpio on you. Romantic feelings, yes. Somebody that you just met that's not wearing the mask or you not wearing the mask, but this is a honeymoon for you because you loving what you do or who you want to be involved with. They could be yourself. You feel you your feelings are real worth exploring. Yes. You ready to give these feelings to anybody that's not going to fuck around and be playing with you, whether it's a friendship or a romantic ship. Stop playing with the collective. People be, this just show you how people be quick to call people they friends or be quick to be comfortable with people they don't fucking know. And then when you show another side of you like you're a human fucking being, they try to label you as mean or they try to label you as going off or try to label you as crazy. No, get the fuck on. Get fuck about what you think. Because I don't know you. And I know you don't know me. Psychosis. When motherfucker think there's something there that's really not, and they have no proof to show that y'all are friends or that y'all even really co-workers. You try to just be cordial and get along. The fuck? Who wants to go somewhere where they don't get along with people or they don't want to look at the people they working with or they cool with or live around? Yeah, you have morals and character. You're not just dressing to impress. You don't have good hygiene for nothing. These people talking a bunch of dumb shit. Told you. Yeah, you see the red flags. These people too gullible. Yeah, these people that hang around in the crowd that need to grow the fuck up are always talking on their phone, always gossiping and shit, or want to be friends. Don't even know what the fuck a friend is. Think that anybody that they can get along with or agree with them are they fucking friends. Yeah, you're not jealous about the shit they talking or them watching your podcast probably talking shit about it or watching you on social media talking shit about you. See, you're not jealous. And it's a group of people, too. Somebody probably the one stirring the pot, probably going home talking about you with their partner, their family members, their cousins, their homies and shit. Yeah, they can't put you in a conspiracy, LGBTQ. What the fuck you do? They not following their third eye. That's how you see that red flag. That's what it fell under. Yeah, man, fuck you. Get away from me. <laughs> kind of energy. Yes, you're doing a good fucking job. At these people that you're not jealous of them and you don't agree with the shit they say. Some of these people are saying some really dumb shit scientifically that just don't make sense. It don't go. Yeah, you a triple threat. Ain't this some shit? <laughs> ah. Or you could have some people that's not jealous of you. They can't put you in the conspiracy, but at the same time, boo, they need to grow the fuck up. They trying to be down like Brandy. And then you probably have some people that have morals and characters, that, but they talk shit that don't mean anything. 
You just see the red flags are there. You don't have to be that serious. You could be older than some of these people too, for some of y'all. It's just what the the uh you watching the phases that they're going through in life. Let's go with the cosmic insight. can't open up their heart or maybe that's what you're doing we're gonna leave that in reverse yeah you're not traveling anywhere soon i feel like you're not traveling anywhere soon when it comes to your heart like if it come it come if it don't it don't yeah you're not a liar that's probably what these people see about you Yeah, you good with your intuition. There's nothing going to bite you in your ass because you're not worried about opening up your heart. <laughs> or these people haven't shown you that they're worth opening up their heart with because they move too fast. It's like if you move too fast for me, who else you, you might not even know the people you call friends and family. The fuck on. That's why you getting your feelings hurt. That's why you getting a lot of bullshit in your life. Yeah, move on. Someone is unavailable and a waste of time. Yeah, that needs to move on. Or that you're not going nowhere with it. Or this is probably how your person feel. Water, earth, energy. They're not going to be lying. They probably with someone that ain't going nowhere in life. This person probably got a ghetto ass mind, a hood rat, or trailer park mentality where they don't believe in traveling and doing good things for anybody. They're emotionally unavailable. And your person has been watching their intuition. They ready to move on. This water, earth, energy don't feel good. That's why their water is in reverse. Their emotions probably every fucking where. And you over there not opening up your heart. So whatever this motherfucker thought you was waiting on or thought they could play games and ghost you and thought they could manipulate you or thought you was obsessed with them, that ain't happening because you ain't moved, Captain, and you ain't lying about it. Yes, whoever tried to put a love spell on you. You followed your intuition. Or maybe your person, that somebody tried to put a love spell on them. Okay, so somebody that your person I feel like is dealing with, trying to put love spells, use a private part to get things done with them. And that shit not working. So they probably using their intuition, your person. And they're not opening up their heart. I feel like you feel like you're not going nowhere. So even your person, I'm going back, could be with someone that has a closed heart. Both of them hearts are closed. And this person probably using their intuition to see that their love and the sex shit ain't going to work. <laughs> Maybe your person told them that shit don't work. That's why they feelings are in reverse in the relationship with that earth energy, which is the opposite of water, ain't working. And you ain't moving nowhere. You know these people are unemotionally. You see how you moving on emotionally, but you're not going to pop or travel or do anything towards them to be their friend, family, or anything. Business partner? Yeah. You're not a gold digger. So you got a gold digger with no heart that's following their intuition. Your person looking at them hoes like as they pets. That's what fell under this water energy. Have no feelings. And they ain't lying about the shit they've been saying. To them probably been arguing and saying some real shit. And whoever this is, they probably been spying on you. That's why they're using their intuition most strongly when it comes to your person. They probably spying on you and think they can run some game on your person. 
I seen this man say the only way you could control a man or the way to break a man is when you stop having sex with him, you break the emotional connection he has with you. Yeah, the only way a man is led by a woman or will disconnect from a woman based on sex is if a man know that he's been controlled by sex. If the man think he's being controlled by sex or the sex is what's keeping him there and the woman know that, if she do take it away, then she might break the bond with your person or with her, her man. But if a man thinks that you are under control or that he's controlling you because of the sex, when you break the sex as a woman, then what else he got to work with? Ha! Let's make let's make it make sense. The shit goes both ways. I understand what he was saying, but um, I don't control my man with my sex, and I sex don't control me. Sagittarius energy. We are a masculine energy. We think more logical, whether we are women or men. We should anyway balance it. Let's talk about love. been raining yesterday. It feel cool today. It's perfect. The weather is all muddy outside, but the weather is blowing pretty cool. Oh, shit. I, really, I went and walked to get some food, child, so I could do it all in one, get my exercise. <laughs> I'm obsessed with you. Yes, it ain't the booty, boo. I'm obsessed with you. Ain't nobody controlling nobody with sex. You control this person by letting them know that you're not going to put up with their bullshit if you've been keeping up with me. And this person probably controlling you by letting you know that it's more to sex than to you that they want to be with you because probably a lot of people just want to have sex with you. Why is it that you love me? That's probably what you're thinking because you're not trying to control them with sex. They can't control you with sex. So it's probably both on y'all mind. I can't make you happy. Maybe that's your energy. You feel like you can't make this person happy. Especially if they felt like sex was controlling them. She, you got better shit to do. You're not going to be able to just be fucking and sucking all day. And you shouldn't be... I mean, if you've been in a stable relationship, you should know sex is not important once y'all both have that understanding. Sex is a sign of security. And once y'all both know y'all understand each other and things are secure, sex should go down, not stay up. I don't know why people think they're going to be in relationships for 10 years Three, four, five years and think that they still going to be fucking like rabbits. When y'all start having kids, when y'all start having mores and goals, when y'all start having other things besides the basic big sh bitch shit you want to do, you're going to see that nobody has time for it. And that's what's going to keep y'all motivated. Sex is going to be there. How can you ever forgive me the mess I've made? They obsessed with you. So this person don't know why you, they don't think they can make you happy. Uh, get your own goals in life. Come over in this bitch and cook a bitch a meal, whether you a man or a woman. You might need a man that's going to cook, clean, and do things of that nature. That's what's going to make me happy. I know for a single woman or a single man, you probably need someone to cook you a real meal when you've been working doubles or working all day or working for weeks at a time. Not having all day. I can't express myself. Huh. Why do you love me? So this person probably feel like they have nothing to bring to you. But the things that you need, it's not a lot, boo. You probably just need someone to help you run your bath water when you get home. Have a drink ready for you. Little simple things like that are not really simple. Go get the food for you. Wash clothes. You deserve better. Yeah. You need a person that's a partner. Help you with the kids. Help you go get them. Help you put their asses to sleep. Make bottles. I am better than, I am better with my mind and my heart. No, you're not. Because that's why you obsessed. 
And that's why you're mess, making a mess. And want forgiveness. That's why you can't express your fucking self. Because you're not better with your mind than your heart. The heart is when you make dumbass decisions. At least with your mind, you're using it logically. This person got the game all fucked up. The passion I felt was enormous and I could not, and I, I didn't know what to do. You have the passion, understanding that these people, that this person that they with don't have. I don't know where to start. Exactly. Just say that. Sound about right. Let me see. Excuse me, y'all. I just ate breakfast of omelet and spinach with cheese and toast with some lemonade, child. So all I got to do is put my work clothes on and take care of you, too. Now let's do it the past. Yeah, they in fear of the unknown. That's why they haven't made no move. Yeah. This is an ongoing situation. That's why I just was about to say I might not make an energy read. I'm gonna be checking the energy, but if it don't change y'all, I'm only gonna I'm not gonna keep repeating the same goddamn energy. I'll let y'all I'll do an energy read when it switches. But it is good to know you being strong and you taming shit. So your person is going through an ongoing situation because you over there doing you and that's being strong and taming things. And what else she doing? Focus. Huh? Bravery. Confidence. You getting close to success. Why this person over there making poor judgment? <laughs> what did I say? I'm tired of this ongoing situation. Collaborating with the wrong fucking people or the people around you at your job and shit. Recognizing rewards, trade with people, teamwork, studying, growing. Okay, so they studying what they made wrong decisions on. With this three of pentacles. Okay. These people are out of debt. I feel like they out of debt and they gonna miss you as an opportunity. Or whoever they dealing with with these ongoing situations, they're missing opportunities in their life. And this could be people that think that you're their friends. They rude. They don't get that they're fucking rude. And they out of control. They don't get why you don't want to be their friend. Someone who opposite and upsets your plans. Yeah, these people don't get that you don't want to be bothered. Or they can't read your body language to know. Like, you probably read theirs. That's why they like you. You probably listen to them. That's why they like you. But they don't seem to do it back. Yes. Budgeting. That's why you being strong. Your person can feel like they had a missed opportunity on success. Someone being a backbone. You learning from their past failures. Yep, they still learning from it. And they still fear of the unknown. They feel they see who they was collaborating with even when they had success. They was taking risks though. Poor judgment. <laughs> when they was going towards success. It's like they was making the right decision, but the people they probably choose to, because they were so motherfucking gullible. Remember? Narcissistic people pushed themselves on people. He they probably wasn't like cutting people off when they show them that they really wasn't their friends like you do. Or they probably wasn't putting up their boundaries. They was giving people second chances, but they never tried to do that with you. 
Trouble coming out. Yeah, lack of progress. That's what happened. Oh, that's what's going on in these people's lives that's around you. Yes, honey, honey, they see they missed the fuck out on you. Independent, success, financial, stable, and security. Ha <laughs> ha. Wisdom, maturity. That's what they passed. They missed out on. And now they doing what? Bad business. This shit just popped out again, friend. Ongoing situation. Finishing what they started. Not finishing what they started. Yep. So I hope that I hope that helped that. Hope that helped you. <laughs> this legs are kicking in. Yeah, this person was me moving in, they would. They had self-deception. Yeah, they were subordinating, subordinating themselves. They're trying to trust and gain composure. They're trying to look on the bright side, but they can't right now. So they too, they're still learning, taking baby steps. And you got to know, when you're waiting on people to change, sometimes they are changing, but they're not changing fast enough for you, or you don't see it because they got to think you didn't do it. And it's never usually fast enough. That's why it's good or it's important that you find someone that at least halfway or get it. You can be born with it. You can develop it. Or you can, or you just won't fucking get it with some of these people. I feel like the people you're working with are just not fucking going to get it. I feel like your person that you're involved with, or you will be involved with, either they're going to be the have it already, or they can develop it. But that's why it's important that you keep going and not waiting, so that that yin and yang can kick in, friend. And I hope to see you again.